Hello my lovelies, today we are going to talk about spring essentials and I feel so excited just getting to talk about spring finally. It's still taking its time but I am not going to let that stop me from switching around my wardrobe and preparing for the new season. Whenever the seasons change I really like to kind of switch up my wardrobe so it fits the season ahead and it's just a lot easier to put together outfits even though I definitely have a bit of an instinct to grab for all the new shiny trends and fun things especially things I see on social media that never really works out the way I think or hope that I will. So I've really learned that for me it works so much better to start with a solid base of essentials for every season and then if I want to it's so much easier to add in sparkly fun trendy colorful pieces on top of that because those incorporate into the wardrobe so much more seamlessly when I have all the basics first and I'm just slowly trying to add higher quality pieces that can stay in my wardrobe for a long long time and I've kind of actually found that the more I focus on the foundation of my wardrobe, the trends become less interesting, but I still allow myself to look at them and enjoy them and partake. And I'm also not gonna mention all of the pieces that we typically already have in our wardrobe, like t-shirts and just basics that stay all year round. But these things I think are really worth focusing on if you want to update your wardrobe for spring. So I'm gonna start with the piece that I'm probably the most excited to start wearing. I love layers. But there is something so uplifting about getting a cotton dress for spring. And I decided to make the first item on my list a maxi length dress. So long sleeves and long hemline to keep some of that warmth. But also because it's so much easier to style with lots of different footwear. So I could wear this out today with a pair of boots. And then I can switch over to my sneakers. And then I can even wear this with some mules or sandals once the weather allows. So it's a really, really versatile piece and length for the season. Kind of like the transitional period that we are in as well. Just such a great piece and look for fun details that make this a little bit extra fun to wear and pushes it even more into that spring territory. And there are so many ways of styling this. You can even layer a knit top over if you still think it's a little bit on the cooler side. You can layer a lot of different outerwear like a trench coat, a blazer, a wool coat even works over this and a leather jacket. There are so many styling options. I didn't really want to talk too much about things that are already in my winter wardrobe that I will keep wearing for the spring season as well until it gets too warm. But I think there is something to be said about switching out your basic pieces for a lighter color palette and also a lighter fabric. So I wanted to talk about kind of lightweight tailored trousers. Honestly, a pair of tailored trousers stay in my wardrobe all year round, but I do switch up the color and the fabric. So I really like to go for something lighter for spring, obviously. So something that is beige. I do love the look of white tailored trousers, but in reality, I don't wear them as often. They just get dirty. Lighter, like beige, cream, things like that is something that isn't stark white. I think it's just a little easier, even though it looks great. And I even wanted to include this like sage green khaki pair because I think it is fantastic to include a little bit of color, especially lighter color and very spring appropriate color for the next season. It just makes me so happy. And these are both in cotton and it's kind of like a twill material. So they're really light, but they're not as cool as linen. So I just think it is fantastic for the transitional season. And let's stay on kind of bottoms because I have included maxi skirts on my spring essentials list. I think this is such a good piece to have in your wardrobe. Again, as with the dress, the longer hemline means that it's giving you a little bit of warmth and kind of room to play around with what kind of footwear you want. So when it's cooler, put on a pair of boots and then move on to the sneakers and even sandals and they work fantastic. And they're really easy to kind of dress up with a dressy top. You can even wear them with a crop top, but if it's cooler, you can also wear them with some knitwear. It is a really, really versatile piece that is fantastic for spring. The maxi length has also been really popular recently, so it's 
quite easy to find a ton of different styles in stores now as well. I bought this one from Arquette last year and it's such a good skirt. I would recommend not going for something that is super, super shiny. Just personally, I find that I limit myself a little bit more in the versatility of the skirt. Whereas when it's kind of just slightly shiny, not overly so, it's much easier to dress the skirt up and down and wear it for lots of different occasions. Another thing I would really look out for and this goes for everything obviously but especially for these kinds of like satiny skirts they are typically made in either silk viscose or polyester and whatever you do please avoid the polyester it feels so clammy and it just to me it just feels like I pulled on a plastic bag over my legs and I'm just suffocating throughout the day whenever I've had those I always end up they just hang in my wardrobe and I never can get myself to wear them. And again, as we are talking about spring, I would recommend going for a lighter color, something that is easy and fun to pair with all the other light items that you are if you're me, going to wear for spring. I've only really included one type of top in this video. I know there are lots of different things we wear for spring. I keep re-wearing a lot of my lighter knitwear from winter. And as you can see, I bring out like my lighter cardigans because this list could get a little bit long. I did try to kind of narrow it down and there is one type of top that I am really excited to start wearing when spring comes around and that is a pretty shirt. And I love having things with like this cutwork detail, lace details, even like this one with a pearl detail on the collar. This one has like a crochet detail on it as well. Just something that is adding a little bit of extra, not just a basic white button-up shirt. I think that is something at least I keep in my wardrobe pretty much all year round, but I do get a lot more wear out of them when we hit spring, so I like to incorporate something that just gives me a little bit more joy, something that is a little bit more detailed and fun and pretty. So you can look for lace details, crochet details, details on the collar, pearls, pretty buttons. You can even switch out the buttons you have on your regular shirt if you like. If you have new buttons, a little bit of patience and needle and a thread and then you have something that is unique and a little bit more elevated. Anything to kind of dress up the regular shirt that we tend to get a more wear out of during this season. So I have included a pair of light wash denim jeans and these are kind of straight to slightly wide leg. I often say this when it comes to staples, capsule wardrobes, essentials. Just get something that you don't have to work too hard to style. So something that has a very strange shape or something you can only wear with one kind of top that's just gonna limit your wear a lot. But I really like to switch out my denim to something light wash once we hit spring and summer. It's just, it fits the season a little bit better. I think it just fits the other items in my wardrobe a little bit better as I go through the season as well. I kind of go back and forth on whether I like distressed denim and sometimes I love it, other times I just pack it away in a box far away <laughs> from my wardrobe. But I think for essentials you can't beat just plain denim, something that is just going to support all the other pieces in your wardrobe. Another reason I think it's really worth it doing this is that I just notice in myself that as long as I switch out denim at the beginning of every season, I don't get as tired of it. And I don't mean buy something new. These are two or three years old and it's fine. I just pack them away for the winter and even the fall months. And then when I bring them out for spring, they feel new and fresh again. And I just like my denim outfits again a little bit more. It just keeps things exciting. One of my favorite things to do for spring is to pull out my white sneakers. It just signifies that we are hitting into the better half of the year, let's call it that. And I also really love white sneakers. And for me, I don't really wear them here throughout winter. I wish I could, but there is typically a lot of snow and mud and they would just get ruined. So I am really excited whenever I can pull them out and start planning outfits with them again. And I bought these Veja sneakers fall of last year. It probably wasn't the most convenient time to buy them because we were heading into winter, but I have got some wear out of them. I wore them a lot for the 
couple of months that I could last fall and I love these so much. My only regret is not buying them sooner. So I have one more shoe to put on this list and that is a pair of loafers. And I debated a little bit what shoes to include here but in the end these two shoes are typically what I wear the most. Something a little bit more dressy and something more casual like the sneakers. I do think that spring is ideal because you can have a leather shoe that is not going to make your feet too sweaty because it's not that warm yet. I bought these from and other stories I think maybe not last year I think the year before they have held up really well. I think they still do this style I'm not sure if they do this color still. I debated also including like a heeled mule just a small little heel because that is something I also do wear but I didn't want to make this list too long either but I think it is worth having shoes even if you're going for something different than what I'm showing here something in a lighter color I find that black shoes or dark brown shoes can be a little bit heavy for the lighter seasons and I always like to update my shoes for the season as well. Next we do still need some outerwear during this season. You get to have layers that are more visible. You don't need to be as focused on warmth as you do throughout the winter. As I do with every essentials and every capsule wardrobe and everything ever, I do recommend a blazer. I just think they are fantastic and I just always have them in my wardrobe and especially during spring it's a very practical layering piece and I'm gonna be honest both of these are actually still wool but I have worn both during summer even because wool doesn't necessarily have to be suffocatingly warm but if you don't want to kind of buy a wool blazer for spring and you don't want to buy as many blazers as I have which is probably the more sane option if I'm being honest then I would choose something that is a little bit more on the lighter side so you can kind of keep wearing it into the next season as well and I will definitely wear both of these for spring one over the other I would still recommend that you get a lighter color because even if you're wearing an all black outfit underneath having a lighter layering option is just going to kind of brighten up the entire outfit a little bit because it's oversized it's a little bit more casual it's not as stiff I think that is fantastic when I'm buying these kind of more oversized and unstructured blazers I always 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 look for the shoulders one this one has I mean shoulder pads are a little bit demonized they're often kind of thought of as this violent huge thing that is going to be like overpowering but as you can see in this one there is just a little bit and it's not necessarily to build out it's just to create structure in the blazer I would really recommend looking for something like that and then I also always look at the lapel I want that to be a little bit stiff and lay flat like it does here I think it just creates a much better impression and especially when the rest of it is a little bit loose and squishy and flowy having those pieces anchor the blazer a little bit sorry i didn't mean to completely go into how to shop for a blazer basically but i just really wanted to recommend it i'm very passionate about my blazers i love them where were we <laughs> let's move on the next piece is also going to be something that pretty much every single person on this platform is recommending for spring but that is a trench coat and i wanted to include both of these because this one is the classic one. I talked about this one in my full essentials list as well. I bought this from and other stories one or two years ago and it's fantastic. Again it's oversized so it fits over a lot of layers. The favorite silhouette of both blazers but particularly trench coats is to be more on the oversized side it just feels a little bit more current so that is what I have I have not bought a new trench coat I feel like this one is still serving quite well and it is an essential for spring it's perfect for transitional weather it even layers over my blazers like if you're going for a kind of like a suit or a deconstructed suit even and you want a blazer layered over this one still layers over a blazer I think it is amazing but I also wanted to talk about a very worthy alternative to the standard trench coat and that is a white or a cream one and this one has a different material it's still cotton and it's still twill but it's much more flowy as you can see it's a very different 
kind of layering piece it feels a lot more kind of feminine because it just drapes in a completely different way and i'm kind of surprised at how much i love this as a spring layering piece if you're tired of the trench coat that you have can i recommend that you look for something in a light color and also look for something in a different drape because it kind of completely changes the outfit the feel is totally different okay i'm gonna stop rambling i have one more thing i want to talk about and we'll be out the very final thing i want to talk about is a handbag because accessories and especially handbags do so much for our outfits i think it's worth considering whether the one you carry daily is kind of adding to your outfits or if it feels kind of out of season so this year i have decided to update my daily tote i want to add a beautiful tan one and i haven't quite found the right one yet the key point is really that the tote that you keep re-wearing a lot i would update to something that feels current for the season and i have been wearing this one a lot for both spring and fall i think it just works really well whatever you carry typically daily whether it is a crossbody bag a top handle bag i don't really imagine anyone carrying a clutch as their daily bag but i mean if that is you i would recommend switching that out to something that feels very spring appropriate the lighter tones work so well for spring and together with like the white, the dress and everything. But it also works so well with the darker colors for spring that I think it is really worth adding because you can keep re-wearing the darker shades. Even with my old black outfits, I think brown is such, brown or tan is just such a beautiful color to add in through your accessories to really soften up the outfit and make it a little bit more spring-like. And kind of for that very same reason, I also wanted to sneak in one more thing into this point, and that is to add a brown belt. If you don't wear it, perhaps consider the other accessories, especially leather accessories that you carry, whether they are shoes, perhaps if you wear sunglasses a lot year round, or hair accessories, or... Um, a scarf anything like that consider adding it in in a lighter shade but for me especially i do love wearing belts with my trousers my dresses my skirts even over my outerwear this was my first brown belt i think and i bought it four years ago now and i really started to love my spring outfits so much more once i added a brown belt and then i've kind of added more and more brown accessories in general i was very much a kind of like black accessories are great because they all match each other so i don't have to play around with like tones or shades or anything like that but honestly big mistake because once i added this a brown belt it just really made my outfits feel so much more spring appropriate and i just love them a lot more so i can really really recommend doing that now I'm gonna stop talking. If you think I have missed any spring wardrobe essentials, do let me know in a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think about these. And if you were interested in my spring capsule wardrobe, I will be trying to post that very soon-ish. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very shortly in the next video. Bye.